so now we will test uh, the compost from the persicaria leaves sent by uh, Marianne Korostizaga. So she is doing her, her own compost from the persicaria leaves and it is supposed to be much stronger than only crushed and dried leaves. But anyways, the recipe will be the same. So I will have 80, which is four parts. Then I put my hot water, but instead of one kettle, I will have two. So I will have three parts of wood ash. And then I will have two parts of lime, which is 40 grams, sorry. And one part of sugar, which is 20. But the sugar, I will add the sugar at the end. At the moment, the reaction in between a lime and a wood ash is achieved. So it will take some minutes for the things to be put in contact. Maybe it would be more appreciated if I put a little bit of water. I will put more water, it would be more comfortable. But just to see, actually, you, you will see that if I put the sugar and stir, it's coming. So it takes exactly one minute to prepare the compost bag. Some uh, person te tell me that it was uh, a super instant quick fermented fermenting fat but of course there's no fermentation it is boiling water in three or four minutes so it is just from the compost but it is organic vat anyways you will see it is extremely easy so now we need to be patient maybe to wait for a couple of minutes for the bubbles appear appearing That's a good one with a magic mirror. You know the magic this, mirror? This copper, yeah? Yes. Copper, copper. But that's a tale mm -hmm. from it's Charles Perrault, the magic, magic mirror. So that's the cotton again. So in the compost vat we will have the three things you already know. You will have the cotton, the silk and the wool. I will put that at the same time. The three at for three dips, three different dips, then we will see how it takes the color. So that's interesting because it's not so much compost and then you will see that you, you get quite a range of, of colors. Uh, so that's the wool here. That's the silk. All these pieces, we can save them for uh, demonstrating how to combine different colors to get the greens, to get the purples and everything. So this will be the, at the end of the tutori tutorial, we can have a range of, sh of shades from uh, the indigo plus other colors. So actually, okay, so this is uh, the first dip then from this we will have at least three so the first one it doesn't matter the first one can be oh sorry the first one can be short so that's the wool actually oh it's still too hot I'm sorry mm. oh it is too hot. I have to wait one couple of minutes more. So the wool is not taking, whatever you put it at the beginning, it is not as strong as uh, 
the other fibers but anyways it's giving something so that's my first dip and then I will have the okay so that's the silk here You see how brilliant this this coming silk. Oops, I did not put any filter, so we have little pieces of compost coming together. But it doesn't matter. That's the tutorial, right? So that's the demo, simple demo to show you that it is not difficult. Anyways, so here. So the reduction is really good after just a couple of minutes except that I'm burning my fingers. Normally I should be patient and wait for it to cool, of course. It will be much more comfortable. But this is just to show you that it works easily. You do not have to wait for the bacteria to develop and everything you heard about the, the vat. So, you see this is keeping green for long so we wait for it to turn blue first before we put that again in so that's the rule of the vat so I have to pick some uh, more water to rinse it so I will put this one and rinse the others so uh, I will be able to have my three dips so let's rinse that at the top first and come back. You see how beautiful it is? Mm -hmm. So the second second one here. wait for the wood. What do you think? I think we have enough for the compost fat mm -hmm. and uh, I can have a bigger one I already prepared so from this bigger one we can have a bigger piece uh, something like that but mm -hmm. actually it is not a big issue. So that's the second one. So you see it is an attractive like a greeny thing but when I rinse it it is turning beautifully. Mm -hmm. And 
then for the last one I will be more patient. this too mm -hmm. and bring back clear water. Mm -hmm. not okay so the third dip the vat is still quite hot but well that's good to get that turquoise actually and tomorrow we will have another piece of silk in the cold vat and you will see an incredible difference just by changing the temperature. So what's the determinant factor to, to get a normal indigo vat from the compost? Exactly the same than for a... Uh, it's okay, it's okay. Okay, so let's take the pieces and rinse them to see how it came, oh, you see that's the cotton first coming, still very hot for my fingers, but then at least you see that we don't expect the thing to ferment and everything, we just dissolve the indigo tin. So that's my beautiful uh, cotton appearing as a, a very dark shade here. Okay, so that's the cotton here. Then this is the wool, turning also very dark after two or three dips. And of course, this vat can be used during days to get a uh, paler and paler. Uh, uh, shades and also very interesting you can enrich it with a bit of compost but it is not very common some people the enrich the vat with the um, uh, indigo pigment as we will see the last day but actually you see that the compost is giving very strong shades yes. except maybe the silk because the silk, that's a very special thing with the silk, that if you work at hot temperature, the silk will stay turquoise, but not very strong. So we have an interesting shade on the silk, which is not exactly the same level. So it's, it looks paler compared to the other fibers, but also that's a price for this special shade. Mm -hmm. But what's the reason? If it, because the silk itself uh, turned a, a, a bit yellowish, or its other reason of this turquoise color? Well, I cannot explain okay. clearly. Mm -hmm. That's a question of isoelectric point of the mm -hmm. fiber. Mm -hmm. okay. So each protein has a kind of a special uh, yes. optimum. Mm -hmm. uh, for exchanging OH yeah. and uh, hydrogen okay. bonds. Just a normal. And then, okay, that's that's the point I cannot explain clearly. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so now I will open it at the thread uh, outside on the line. And I will everything and I will organize better for tomorrow. Because I don't feel very